morning, folks. It is day nine, and I am back on the trail. Back on the trail a little earlier than I thought I would. I woke up around three and decided just to get up and go ahead and get going. So I'm already at the top of Selden Pass. Um, it was only two miles, and I'm here a little, I guess, before 530. I uh, thought I might uh, have breakfast up here at sunrise, but um, I'm a little before that. I think I'm just anxious to get to, to VVR. So I probably have another uh, 16 miles to get to VVR and uh, just anxious to get going. So I will see you on the trail. So that is Selden Pass, where we came from. And this is Marie lake it is beautiful this morning morning folks thought i would give you a proper greeting now that you can see me it is day nine i'm obviously on trail i'm about four miles in now still coming down from selden pass and it's going to be down most of the day. Um, I think it was supposed to be around an 18 mile day from Sally Key Lakes to uh, VVR. Um, and so I've hiked four, so should have about 14 to go. Um, pretty uneventful day except for <laughs> VVR. Um, I'm not sure what is in store for the 14 miles. Um, I didn't check ahead. I do know that I'm taking a uh, turn off to VVR instead of the ferry because I'm going to be there so early. I don't, I don't want to wait till the ferry comes at 4.30. I don't want to just sit there and wait a couple hours. I'd rather hike in and get into VVR hopefully around 2.30, 3 o'clock and then get something to eat, check in, all that good stuff. But uh, VVR is a huge milestone for me of um this trail uh i've always heard mount whitney to vvr is kind of the hardest stretch and so that feels like a, a good accomplishment um it'll be good to wash some clothes hopefully i can talk to my wife you know eat some real food sleep in a bed and uh, recharge all of my uh, power banks so today is a huge day for me and I mean, you know, if you know me, you know my channel, you know I love gift shops. If they have a gift shop and a VVR hat or something <laughs> that I love, I don't know. I might, <laughs> might have to just ship it home or something, but um, I don't know if they have that kind of stuff there. This is for just, you know, hiker trash. And I feel like hiker trash because I am just, ooh, I am gross. I mean, I wash off every night, but... Yeah, my clothes are just getting dingier and dingier. So anyway, I'm just taking my four mile break that I tell myself to do to give my you know shoulders and feet a rest. And then I'll be heading on. See you on the trail. I do enjoy hiking in the morning. And I don't mind getting up early. I love seeing the sunrise. I love hearing the birds kind of you know, wake up the day. It's just so quiet. I mean, even when there's like there's no wind right now, you can just hear like far off, far off stream. <laughs> and oh, it is just so wonderful. I generally you have the trail to yourself early in the morning, and I love it. I really do. I get the miles fly by for me <laughs> in the morning. Um, they get tougher around probably one, one to three when that sun is out and blazing. But I love, I have loved these mornings getting up and getting going on the trail and just seeing the day wake up and it's been beautiful.
looks like we're coming up on my turn off for VVR. Yep, Bear Ridge Trailhead. Be heading down that way. So let me uh, explain a little bit. Um, this is my first of two alternates that I'm going to take. So I could hike on another five miles on the JMT and that takes you to the ferry turnoff. And then you hike another mile to the actual ferry that would take you into VVR. So that's six miles. Here I can hike seven miles straight into VVR. And to me, this is a little bit better because uh, I do think it is more gradual downhill and I have to wait for till 4.30 until that next ferry comes. So I can hike in there these seven miles before 4.30. So that's the reason that I am doing um, the Bear Ridge Trail into BVR. restaurant and groceries sound good right about now so that turned out to be about a 19 mile day and two mile uphill road walk in the sun so let me check in and let's get settled here's the view of the hotel slash motel never sure which one is right I am in number two let me give you a peek inside all right, I have three beds. I don't need three beds, but I do. My resupply box uh, showed up. I actually got some ramen noodles from the uh, hiker box. I just have some of my hammock stuff laying out. I am recharging everything right now in the outlet. And the thing that I was most excited about was the shower and the toilet <laughs> so that is that is great um yeah it's been really uh been really nice here um i've enjoyed this place i'm actually washing clothes right now i'm going to pick up here in a minute there's showers they're staying in the campground uh there is a washer and dryer if you need to wash your clothes so they really have a lot of the many of these that you want to have a store where you can buy backpacker meals or other type of you know small type of gear stuff if you need um, so the VVR really does have it all this is beautiful I believe this is called Lake Edison I think that's what I saw yeah not bad So I've seen a, uh, a campground where you know people do regular tent camping. I've seen campers and RVs here. Uh, people, there's a boat dock around here. I know people are dropping off their boats and play in this lake. And tomorrow I'll be taking the ferry. So there's a ferry that leaves at nine in the morning and one that leaves at four. Um, I'm just gonna kind of rest tomorrow and take the ferry at four. Which means I'm going to load up on breakfast and I'm going to load up on lunch so I'm full by dinner and so it'll take me out you know um, around the corner there and hook me back up with the JMT 
And then I'm only going to hike maybe a couple miles to a camp spot for that night. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's VVR, man. And I've always heard it's a special place, and it is. It is. It's beautiful, and it has everything that I have needed. And it has felt like a town day for me, and I've gotten great, great rest here. Um, and I look to just kind of recover a little bit tomorrow and just enjoy, um, you know, just enjoy this setting. Day nine recap. After four uh, days of hiking around 20 miles a day, we have finally made it here and it is spectacular. Start off early this morning, hiking over uh, Selden Pass. I was at it there probably 5, 5.15 before the sun even came up. But it was beautiful. You could still see the sun beginning, the light behind in the mountains and the silhouette of Marie Lake and that was fabulous. And then I just started hiking fairly gently down all the way down into that meadow or that valley. Um, and so that was just a nice, pretty nice, easy hike. And then of course I did have to start hiking up. <laughs> uh, so for two miles before I got off on trail to head to a BVR, I was heading up Silver Pass and I went up about a thousand feet. So that was, you know, that was pretty rough. And then when I got off on a Bear Ridge Trail, man, that was sandy and rocky and I probably dropped 2,500 feet um, there in the very beginning, in the middle it was fine, and then there and then at the very end. Um, that was, wasn't that pleasant of a trail, but it was okay. You're just in the woods and a lot of sand and a lot of rock, a lot of steep, you know, declines. And then when I, um, and then when I got to, uh, the VVR, it was kind of like a two mile dirt road walk to get here. And I was tired by the end of the day and it was hot. It was probably about two o'clock. Um, but then I arrived here and I've been relaxing, got to talk to Nancy and just catch up. And it has been fantastic. So that is going to do it for day nine. And we're going to see what adventure comes tomorrow. So we will see you in the morning.